more I think about it, the more contact is starting to seem like it could actually replace the complete control software. Today we have a new update from Native Instruments. This one is Contact 8.6. It adds new tools. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tools. And from there, if you wanna check it out, there's an affiliate link in the description. This will be coming out soon as I have it early and they have allowed me to make a video on it before release. So it will be out very soon. So let's go ahead and get over to the computer. As you see right here, I have contact open. I have the clear piano. Sounds very nice. And that's what it sounds like. I don't have anything added to it yet. In this update, they have added new tools and I'm gonna show you those right now. As you see, we have an arpeggiator, chord builder, humanizer, scale lock and velocity curve. And beyond that, you are now able to use more than one of these tools at a time. For example, if I wanna use the scale lock and then throw an arpeggiator, I could do that, which is great. And you can move them around and set them up how you want to. So let's go ahead and load one of these up. Just for the sake of this point, I'm gonna go ahead and open up scale lock. And as you see, it opens up up there. Now it says the key is in C and on my complete control right now, go to plug in. It just says scale lock, I can enable it. I can also change the key and the scale. And when I do that, let's say I wanna change it to D. As you see, it's changing up here. I'm just gonna to go to D minor. And there we go, we're at D minor. Now, if you look at the keys right here, this matches the keyboard. So right here it says play lower note if not in scale. I'm gonna turn that to nothing because I don't want it to play anything if it's out of scale. This is helpful if you do not know music theory, don't know your scales, no piano. If you have a complete control like I have, the lights will be on on the keys that are in scale. This is kind of like the complete control software. However, this is doing it all inside of contact. So if you don't have a complete control, this will be very helpful for you as you are still able to lock your keyboard without the lights in the scale and you will not mess up. So for example, I'm in D minor, just wanna play. And right here, it's the same thing. I'm gonna change it to something else. Let's go to F. So now we're in F and as you see, the white keys or the keys that aren't blue don't play anything because I have it set to nothing. If I switch it to play a lower note, it'll play the last lower one or you could do higher. But like I said, for me, I prefer to do none and just leave it like this. So that's one new tool that we have, which I think is very useful for those of you who may not know piano, know the scales. And from there, you could go ahead and uh, use it whatever MIDI keyboard. I'm gonna go back to tools, add another tool. I'm gonna to go to arpeggiator. Let's put that up there, Let me double click it. Now, as you see, we're still in the F minor and we have our arpeggiator. So now when I hit F, it's going to go. And if you are familiar with arpeggiator, that's what it does. <laughs> you just, it repeats things. You can play chords. So for this, I'm at 88 BPM. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. You could change this, the amount of steps. You could go like this. Change it from as played to let's go down. So as you see, it's going from there down. You can change the octaves, the repeat, all of that.
So as you see, there's a different ways you can play with this. It's a great tool if you, just like arpeggiators, a lot of my early music that I put out was done with a lot of arpeggiators. So I may get back to doing that. Now I'm still gonna leave the scale lock on, go back to add another tool. You have your chord builder, I'll show you guys that. And we still have humanizer, and then we still have velocity curve. Let's go to chord builder real quick. Now with chord builder, I still have my scale lock on. So I'm in F minor, so let's see. Okay, so it's still locked, so I can't hit any wrong keys, and that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to make sure that since I had scale lock on the top, would it affect the chords, and it does. So again, you can't mess up at that point. I'm drop my octave. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to build a chord based off of this. So it says major. I'm going to change it to minor just because. Okay, so when I hit this, as you see, these are the notes that are highlighted. I'm only pushing one key, so it's building chords with that. Here are your three notes that are being hit right here. Now, let's say I like to have a bass note going under whatever I'm playing. So I'm going to go over here to the fourth and I'm going to put it on the root. So it's still going to be right there. However, I'm going to drop it an octave. I don't like that. I need a little bit darker. Maybe one more time. I like that. So from there, you could change the octave, not the octave, excuse me, you could change the velocity. And then if you want to add more notes to it, let me see. I'm just messing around at this point, just adding different notes to this. And that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Chord Builder off, but that is a great tool. If you don't know music theory and you don't want to mess up while trying to build chords, that can come in handy. If you're on scale lock though, like right now I'm currently on scale lock, so everything is highlighted that's in scale, you can make your own chords. So, do something simple what I did then. So again, different tools for different things. So let's go back to tools. And right here, we still have velocity curve that we didn't talk about in humanizer. If you don't know what humanizing is, the best way I could break it down is usually when I record something, I will humanize it so it sounds more human. So let me go ahead and mute these tracks here. I don't know, I'm just about to play something basic and record it. Bring contact back up. Okay, I was just doing something right there. So let's see. Now you hear the velocity changing, there is a delay. Change the pitch. And I'm doing this on purpose to mess up.
And that's what humanize is. It's to make your music sound more human, like add a little bit of shifts in time. You can add, call it mistakes, whatever you want to. So it sounds like a human was actually playing the music instead of you just, you know, clicking it right here and it sounds perfect. So that's usually what I use that for. I mainly use humanize for pianos and sometimes I use them on synths, but it's pianos and hi-hats. I use humanize on my hi-hats too, so that's cool as well. And uh, let's see, what other tool do we have here? Velocity Curve. Now with Velocity Curve, I'm gonna turn off fixed velocity on my keyboard. And it sounds normal, but I'm just gonna turn it all the way up. So no matter how soft I'm hitting it, it stays there. Like it's showing you right there, I'm only tapping at two. Now if I go, that's all. <laughs> but I will lower it some. And now we have tools where we can disable certain things. So I'm on F right now. And then once I get to A, it won't play. I'm going to disable it. Now A plays again. So pretty much you can disable these tools. And as you see, I had a stack of tools on here. I'll go back to the arpeggiator just for the sake of showing you that. Double click it for it to open. You can rearrange your stuff like that. But even though scale lock is under the arpeggiator, it still won't let me play the notes that aren't in the scale. So that's great. So that is Contact 8.6. If you guys want to update it, go ahead and check out your native access. If you do not have Contact yet, there's a link in the description where you can go pick it up. I appreciate you guys tuning in out there. Let me know what you guys think about this update. The more I think about it, the more Contact is starting to seem like it could actually replace the Complete Control software. Just about. They still have the browsing, but just these tools alone are definitely coming in handy. And you have other things such as leaped and you can layer your sounds and all of that. So it's a great tool to have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let me know what your favorite tool is. Appreciate y'all tuning in out there.